are you? I hope you are fine. This is Marian, your teacher for today's video. Just sit back there, watch, listen, and learn. Fun watching! Let's first define fraction. Fraction is a part of a whole. It is composed of numerator, which is the number of parts we have, and the denominator, which is the total parts of a whole. The numerator and the denominator are separated by a line called fraction bar. I hope that it refreshes your mind. Now, let's get back to our main topic. How do we compare fractions? Comparing fractions is just like comparing integers or whole numbers. You need to use less than, greater than, or equal symbols. However, we can compare two fractions, especially with different denominators or numerators. In just one glance, unlike com comparing whole numbers. Let's try this example. 7 ninths or 7 over 9 and 4 fifths or 4 over 5. The traditional method of comparing fractions involves finding a common denominator and comparing the two fractions. Let's first find the LCD. Think of the least number that can be divided by the two denominators, 9 and 5. The answer is 45. The second step is divide the LCD by the denominator and then multiply the answer to the numerator. Let's start with 7 over 9. LCD 45 divided by the denominator 9 is 5. 5 times the numerator 7 is equal to 35. Next is 4 over 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 9 times 4 is equal to 36. The converted fractions will be 35 over 45 and 36 over 45. We can now compare them. Since 35 over 45 is less than 36 over 45, thus 7 over 9 is less than 4 over 5. What do you think of the method we use? Does it take time? Yes, it's a long method. Now, let me introduce to you the shortcut method in comparing fractions, which is called cross multiplication. This is the process that involves multiplying the numerator of one fraction by the denominator of the other fraction and vice versa. Let's follow these steps. Set up the fraction next to each other. Then, cross multiply the fractions and put each answer as the corresponding numerator, not the denominator. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. Since 35 is less than 36, the first fraction is less than the second one. What did you notice? We used two different methods, but we came up with the same answer. And the latter is easier and doesn't take much time than the former. Let's try this another example using the two methods. 18 over 9 and 3 over 4. The LCD of 9 and 4 is 36. 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4. 4 times 18 is 72. Then, 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. 9 times 3 is equal to 27. The converted fractions are 72 over 36 and 27 over 36. Since 72 over 36 is greater than 27 
over 36, thus 18 over 9 is greater than 3 over 4. Now, let's use the other method which is the cross multiplication. 18 times 4 is equal to 72. 9 times 3 is equal to 27. Since 72 is greater than 27, thus 18 over 9 is greater than 3 over 4. By using two different methods, the answer is still the same. Let's have this one last example. 16 over 48 and 4 over 12. Using the first method, we need to find the LCD. So the LCD of 48 and 12 is 48. 48 divided by 48 is equal to 1. 1 times 16 is 16. Then, 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. The converted fractions are 16 over 48 and 16 over 48. Wait, did you notice it? Yes, they have the same converted fractions. Since 16 over 48 and 16 over 48 is the same, they are equal. Thus, 16 over 48 is equal to 4 over 12. Let us now try to compare again the two fractions, 16 over 48 and 4 over 12, by using the short method, cross multiplication. The numerator of the first fraction, which is 16, times the denominator of the second fraction, which is 12, is equal to 192. Then the numerator of the second fraction, which is 4, times the denominator of the first fraction, which is 48, is equal to 192. 192 is equal to 192. Thus, 16 over 48 and 4 over 12 are equal. The answer is still the same from the answer of the first method we use. Now that you learned the two methods of comparing fraction, you should try to answer this. Thanks for watching! I hope you learn on how to compare fractions. See ya!